Does the narcissist hope to hear from you after the discard or have they completely moved on? We're gonna break that down in this video. I'm Dr. Melissa. I'm a trauma expert and top doctor. And in this video and on this channel, I help you identify the hidden narcissist in your life, identify their impact on your life, and then turn that trauma and that drama into gold becoming stronger and more powerful than you ever were before. If that sounds like exactly what you need, click subscribe, click that notification bell so that you get notified of each and every video. Today we're talking about whether or not the narcissist hopes to hear from you after the discard. Are they hoping to rekindle the relationship or have they truly moved on? After the discard, you feel so helpless. Maybe you saw it coming, maybe you didn't. There's a part of you that feels a massive amount of relief. But that trauma bonded part of you just doesn't want to let the narcissist and the relationship go. You're paralyzed with indecision. Do I beg them to come back? Do I act indifferent in the hopes that they want to come back? Do I reach out and try to work on the relationship? Do I act like I've moved on to make them jealous? If you're in a complicated situation, say you're married with kids, you own property together, you have a business together, it's even harder. You ask yourself, do I try to hold my family together? What if I can't afford to support the household on my own? Wouldn't it be better for the kids to grow up in an intact family? Or isn't it best for the kids if I can buffer for them, if I can de-escalate the narcissist? I don't want them to be alone with them half time. Your mind can go back and forth on this all day long. It's like watching that mental tennis match. Your body and your spirit have the wisdom that you need to make this decision, but you stopped listening to them a long time ago. If only you could know what the narcissist is thinking. Do they expect to hear from you? Yes. Do they hope to hear from you? No. Listen, the narcissist has been through this before, either with you or with someone else. They know the drill. They discard you. You beg them to come back. You act desperate, weak, ashamed. You do anything possible to get them back. You set aside all boundaries. You offer them unlimited concessions. You apologize when they are at fault. Their narcissistic supply comes from devaluing you and you have just offered to do all of the heavy lifting. You are devaluing yourself for their benefit and to your own detriment. It's like handing them narcissistic supply on a silver platter. You've done it before. Others have done it before. Of course, the narcissist expects it. They feel entitled to it. But is the narcissist hoping to hear from you? No, absolutely not. The narcissist has not discarded you without having another source of supply ready to take your place. That person has been love bombed, tested and groomed and is currently providing narcissistic supply. Heck, the narcissist will even triangulate the two of you for additional supply. Check out my video on that. 
those things that you're worried about, what's best for the kids, how will I financially weather this change, how to hide your struggles from friends and family in case the relationship gets back on track, how to handle your hurt and betrayal when you're working and taking care of the kids by yourself. The narcissist isn't thinking about any of those things, not for one split second. The narcissist is not thinking about you and what you need. They are fulfilling their own needs, needs that they believe that you no longer can provide. The harsh reality is to the narcissist, you are an object, not a person. You've been replaced with another object. And when that one becomes boring, there will be another object after that. Whether they hear from you is irrelevant. It was never about you. If this video resonates with you, type, I won't go back in the comments. Then like it, share it with someone who needs to hear this message. And if you know that you are ready to heal, to shift along that process from narcissist victim to anti-fragile narcissist survivor, I invite you to download my free guide to see where you're at in that five-step process and what is going to take you to the next step. That can be done at narclesslife.com. I am Dr. Melissa, and I will see you in the next video.